Hello friends, welcome to the English Shitter. I am Dr. Amit Ranjan and as promised in my last video, in this video I will be discussing the assertive sentences in the present continuous tense and in my next video I will take up the interrogative sentences. Okay, now we know that assertive sentences are of two types, affirmative sentences and negative sentences and so I will first start with the affirmative sentences. Let us see what is the basic formula of the affirmative sentences in the present continuous tense. Okay, to make an affirmative sentence, we take a subject first and then according to the number and person of the subject, we take the auxiliary verb either am or are or is and then we take the V4 form of a verb. V4 form of a verb is made by suffixing ing to the V1 or the base form of a verb. I have talked about it in one of my previous videos. You can watch that. Okay. So, this is the basic formula of the affirmative sentences in the present continuous tense. Subject plus am or are or is plus V4. Am is always used with I, R is used with U and plural subjects and is is used with the third person singular number subjects. Okay? So, remember this formula subject plus am or R or is plus V4. Additionally, you can use other words like objects, adjectives, adverbs, etc, etc. Okay, but our basic formula is subject plus am or are or is plus v4. Okay, now let us understand this formula further with some of the examples. <coughs> okay, my first example is with the first person similar number subject I and with it we use the auxiliary am and then a v4 form of any verb. Okay, I am teaching. Now, with V that is the first person plural number subject, we use the auxiliary R and then a V4 okay, of any verb. We are reading, then you are crying and again you are writing. Okay. So, U is both singular and plural in English grammar and R is used with U always in the present continuous tense. Okay. Now, with the third person plural number subject, they with this also we use R and then a V4. So, they are singing. Okay. And again, Jack and Jill more than one names that becomes a plural subject. So, Jack and Jill, we will use R here and then a V4. Jack and Jill are staring. Okay. Now, you can always make contractions like I am teaching, we are reading, you are crying, they are singing, etc. etc. Okay. But contractions are generally used in speech and in informal writing. In formal writing, we use the expanded form only. Okay. Now, we see some of the examples with the third person singular number subjects. Okay. With he, we use is and then a V4. He is working. Again, she is playing. I am using the contraction here. And then, it's raining. John's preaching water is flowing okay so with the third person singular number subjects we use is plus v4 okay now we see the negative statements in the present continuous tense okay we just put not after the auxiliary and that becomes our negative statement in the present continuous tense Okay, just put not after am. So, I am not teaching. Again, you can make the contraction like this. I am not sleeping. Then again, we are not reading. 
you are not crying they aren't singing etc etc so you can make contractions in both these ways okay either you contract the auxiliary verb and then attach it to the subject or you contract the not and then attach it to the auxiliary verb okay now we will take up the examples with the third person singular number subjects okay he is not working again not is used after the auxiliary verb and then becomes the negative sentence in the present continuous tense okay <clears throat> she is not playing i am again using a contraction here it's not raining water isn't flowing etc etc you can make many sentences like these at your home again we can contract in both the ways either we contract the auxiliary and attach it to the subject or we contract the not and then attach it with the or to the auxiliary verb okay so this is all from my side today in the next video i will take up the interrogative sentences in the present continuous tense so if you have not subscribed to my video my channel subscribe to it share it and then if you have enjoyed this video like it okay so bye for now enjoy learning